Hello everybody, my name is Cordy H and I'm Master Red Jacket. And I'm Squeakers. And welcome back to Into the Gloom. We just burnt the little wooden mannequin thingamajigger up in the church and we fell through the floor because apparently there was no floor. This can't be real, where am I supposed to be? I attempted to record this earlier. I recorded 10 minutes of me wandering around in here not knowing what the heck to do. So, I apologize for that. Um, a thingy did scare us, actually. That, um, pumpkin head, as she likes to call it, came out and scared us. Pretty great. I just heard a noise, and I'm like, what's that sound? Oh, well, let's walk towards the noise. I guess that was a bad idea, I guess. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyways, you're supposed to follow these candles all the way down until you find the way out. Because there's a way out here somewhere. But you can't see it. I watched a walkthrough, and I never, ever, ever would have found it on my own. Let me just be honest. It's pitch black in here. I never would have found it. But apparently, what is it? What does he do? He kind of... It's an arrow. And he just walks straight until I find the exit. Because apparently there's an exit around here somewhere. There it is! Ha-ha! <laughs> Yay! I never would have found that. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's trippy. More trippy than it was in the video. Uh, all right. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you okay? To do that. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> do I gotta do that all over again? I wasn't expecting to have to I run mean, there. Holy crap! Okay. Let's try that again. Did it save progress? Yeah. Okay, right here. So, like, you can't run past him. What are you supposed to- Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, no, it's just me. Um. Oh, my mom, my mom. Um, am I just running? Yeah, Just endlessly running? I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Carry hallway. What is hanging from the ceiling? I can't tell. I don't know. What is that sound? Um, 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 um. All right. What is going on? Hi, people. Up. All right. Up? But there is no up. Wake up. Oh, okay. Trying. I am definitely trying to do that right now. It's key. Uh. It says pipe room, awesome. I should probably hold on to it, just in case something happens. Is this it? Yep, I guess so. Oh my goodness. All right, sweet, what was that? Three, all right. Are you still following me? Uh, probably, sounds like it, almost certainly. Uh, what is three for? What is three for? Where am I? What's going on? Three, awesome, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Cordage and I am Master Red Jacket. And I'm Squeakers. And welcome back to Into the Gloom again. So, I recorded that little bit that you guys saw, the chase scene and everything, and unfortunately my recording stopped in the middle of the chase scene and I didn't realize it. But I got out of there, I found the code to everything, I found the code to the door and went. But, um... I got stuck in the next part. I had no idea what to do, and I couldn't find a walkthrough for it either. Like, I found a walkthrough for everything else, but, like, not that part. And actually, I remember what happened is, uh, we were running away from the bad guy. We, we eventually, we hang ourselves. Because you're supposed to die in the gloom to come back to the real world, or whatever it is. But not get killed by any of the bad guys. You just gotta kill yourself, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. But basically, when I did that, the knife dude, whom I had set free in the prison, showed up. And then I was back in the gloom again. I couldn't get out, and I was wandering this park, whatever. I couldn't figure out what the heck to do. So, being stuck, I decided, let's go back through the entire game, but not let the knife dude out, and see if that changed anything. So we're gonna try that. I have to do the chase scene all over again, but... Oh boy, that's alright. I guess all I did differently was not let the knife do down. Don't mess up again. Just buy it for left hand. Trippy tunnel one more time. I'm gonna throw up if you're laughing. Oh, faster! Huh. Alright. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Here we go. Nope. Oh! Oh gosh, dang it. 
doing it. Yep. Last time, last time he did that, I totally, I scared me so bad that I completely lost the key and I wasn't pressing W anymore. I was pressing E and I was just standing there waiting for the bad guy to come get me. It was uh, like, yep. Everybody else is looking up and you look down. Go ahead. The tick tock of the clock continued its march without stopping. At a relentless pace that showed the inexorable power of time on the face of the people. Many events happened in Ethan's Families saving decreased paying the expensive hospital fees until it became untenable. Is this different? Ethan continued being stuck in his world of darkness, suffering the torment of the parallel life he had. While in our present, his body lied inert, and the stimuli to the stimuli that continually tried to reanimate him, keeping alive the hope of waking him up. Only the medical equipment kept the kept him tied to life. However, when his brain stopped showing activity and with all family savings depleted, the doctors recommended disconnecting him and ending his suffering. A heartbreaking cry full of distress came from the deepest of his mother's entrails. That's weird. She's crying from her intestines, a cry so deep that it transcended the barriers of the dimensions, reaching Ethan miraculously last second before disconnecting the machines that kept him tied to this world. Ethan reacted and with a weak impulse from his brain followed by a faint and sloppy movement of his fingers. His tired mother noticed and told the doctors and they could, they could finally wake him up. His mind came back hollow and lost. He couldn't recognize or remember anything. there was no relation with the present. No familiar faces, there were no friends or relatives. Only the deep and emaciated face of his mother woke on, woke on him the inexplicable joy and confidence helping him in his, on his new beginning. It's hard to read those. On his awakening to the world, full of light and world where Ethan knew he would have to start again. Thanks, Thanks for playing! I totally thought it was going to give me the same exact ending I that I got when I died. I was like, no! Because I didn't want to go back and do that all over again. Just set the knife dude free. And then find the ending there. But I found the good ending. That's all I want to do is find the good ending. I think I found the good ending because he woke up all is well. Yay. What? Oh. Yay. Yay. Lol. Anyways. <laughs> okay, game translators. You did not do very well. <laughs> Broken English. Broken English. Cut them some slack. They clearly, they did, they clearly their first I language was not English. They did better than I would have done. Yeah, if you went from English to Chinese or whatever, I've been high. that'd have been funny. <laughs> Water. I think this means something. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Anyways, this game was actually really, really good. Absolutely terrifying at times. I lost my voice screaming because Pumpkinhead was chasing me. <laughs> Actually, it was when I heard the door open behind me. <laughs> yep, same thing, same thing, same thing. But the game wasn't too hard, but I did, honestly, going through it by yourself without a walkthrough or anything, you get lost. You get completely and totally lost. The puzzles are a little too, they're not too elaborate, the actual puzzles, but finding everything you need to do, what the heck you need to do, that got really, really confusing. The music needs to stop, though. I really don't like the music. The music is really annoying. But other than that, the game was really, really good. And I am... That's different. Any more notes?
notes, maybe? I'm really impressed with the game. Menus lack of Oh! Yeah! What's the third one? There's time in the gloom. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, during his time in the gloom, he finally understood the messages from the hanged men by trying the suicide- by trying the suicide as the last resort to escape from the evil shadow. It turned out to be a real the real solution. His soul found the path back to nowhere, and there he could hear the sound of his mother's cry. Her voice sounded weak there, but he could follow it among the vast field of screams towards the light, returning to life again. We won it! Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Into the Gloom. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you in the next episode. Master Red Jacket out. Freaky, isn't it? There's the door. Ah!